One of the standard practices in a lot of vineyards, not just here in the east, but all throughout the world, is applying an herbicide underneath the vine rows in order to keep the weeds down. In areas where grape growing has traditionally been done, where there's not a lot of rain during the season, that can make some sense. Removing some competition so the vines can have access to what water is applied, whether it's by irrigation or infrequent rainfall. Here in the east, obviously, we get a whole lot of rain, more than we really want, and so our vines tend to grow really big. And so when you think about it, why are we removing competition underneath the grapevines when there's too much water and nutrients there already and we're growing vines that are bigger than we want? So the idea behind having cover crops underneath the vines, whether it's just the natural vegetation or something that we actually plant, is an effort to try to both reduce that need for herbicides, so reduce some costs and some impact on the environment potentially, but also to have some competition underneath those vines to remove some of the water and the nutrients that are under the vines. And so we have vines that are a little bit more balanced between the amount of leaves and shoots they grow and the amount of fruit that they produce. So the research has shown that cover crops under the trellis can be beneficial to vines in certain situations. But the problem is then all this work that has been done has been on very small research size plots so that we can collect data. The challenge is how do you expand that so that a grower can take that practice and put it across a larger acreage? And so how do we sow the seed under that vine? Most normal spreaders will just throw seed everywhere. And so we need to come up with some solution that will help to put the seed where we want it. So what we've done here is we've taken a rotary spreader and we've modified it so that it will spread the seed just in the two bands underneath the trellis where we want the seed to go. So one of the things about this spreader, as you can probably see, is that the hopper here is relatively small. It's rated to hold about 100 pounds. The amount of acreage you can cover with this thing is very dependent on the size of the seed that you're spreading and how many seeds per acre you need to, to spread. So in the case of something that has a low seeding rate and a large seed, something like buckwheat, for example, which is one of the cover crops we've tried in this trial, you can cover a few acres with one hopper. Something like grass seed, which is what we have in here, has a really high volume to the amount of weight that it has. And so you get fewer pounds inside this hopper in any given load. So you'll cover less acreage with it. So you can do a couple of things. You build some kind of extender or have a larger hopper on this in order to hold more seed per load. Or you can just have assistants sitting at the end of the row every time to refill the hopper. So really we think the best application for this particular piece of equipment would be either in a small vineyard, say maybe five acres, six acres or less, or in doing maybe some spot applications of cover crops. So maybe you have a certain area that has a particularly high vigor or is a little wetter and you wanna have some extra help pulling water out of that soil profile. And so you're applying a cover crop like either grass seed or something like that can help to do that in a smaller area. But before we start to spread any seed, we need to make sure that the spreader is calibrated properly so that we know how much seed we're actually putting down. In order to do that, we'll use two buckets. We'll collect the seed over a given period of time, in this case, 30 seconds, and then we'll weigh the seed to see how much of it we collect in that 30 seconds. Once we have that, we can make an adjustment to the gate valve, which controls the flow of seed into the spreader and either increase it or decrease it based on what we get out of those buckets. We can then do the calibration again and make sure that we have the right amount of seed in order to get the targeted rate based on the speed that we're gonna drive our vehicle, whether it's a tractor or in this case, our gator, in order to make sure that we're putting down the right amount of seed. Now that we've calibrated the spreader, we can start spreading some seed.